Hello. If you're in this section, it means that you did the first section on verse and stanza. And we're going to continue our review on to figurative language. So, first of all, an onomatopoeia. An onomatopoeia is a word that represents a sound. An example would be, I could hear the bee buzz close to me. As you can see, the word buzz also resembles the sound that the bee makes. So you can hear the buzz itself in the word when you're saying it. That is an onomatopoeia. A hyperbole is an extreme exaggeration to make a point. I have told you a million times, I love you. That is an example, and maybe a ver better example would be when uh, cuando alguno de nuestros padres nos dice te lo he dicho un millón de veces, te lo he dicho miles de veces. So they didn't exactly say it that many times, probably, but they're trying to make a point that they're saying it countless times. And that is a hyperbole. It makes a point. Now, personification is giving human, human characteristics to animals or inanimate objects. An example, I could see lightning dancing across the sky. So lightning, you, you probably, uh, you don't think that lightning is human. So lightning don't, doesn't dance per se, but we're making a point that we're seeing lightning that seems to be dancing. And we're giving it human characteristics. Now repetition. It's repeating words, phrase, stanza, or verse. An example is run, run, runner, man. And very straightforward. Any any repetition in in a poem is considered as well repetition. So that about does it for this first section on figurative language. Work on the first part of figurative language, and then we'll continue working on the second part of figurative language.